a big guy that we don't even, that we hadn't talked about late at all? Dylan Cole. Dylan Cole hurt when they, when they lost him on this football team at the linebacker position when it comes to covering backs out of the backfield and having that speed to cover tight ends and stuff. But he did an admirable job overcoming those situations and continuing to give this team a chance. So I, I think first and foremost, before we dive in on Romeo Cornell, I, I think that's, that is a, a feather in my man's cap, and he deserves to be saluted for the fact that his guys held on to the rope and creatively, uh, schematically, they were able to do some things defensively that allowed the Texans to win 11 football games this year. Yeah, if I looked at the the defense of the Texans, I would say overall for the season they overachieved yeah. because there were multiple times this season where going into ball games, I had no confidence that the defense was going to be able to play at a very high level, and I was expecting the offense to be the one to carry the team and and the exact opposite thing happened. Yeah. The defense stepped up and played really good ball games. And so I, I think when you look at a guy like Tashawn Gibson, losing him for this playoff run, losing him to go against Travis Kelsey, that was a huge factor in, in a lot of the struggles that you saw this time when the Texans played Kansas City versus the first time. And there was there was losses like that, talking about personnel wise, that were in and out of the lineup, and, and that affected what happened with the defense throughout the year. Yeah, and, and I want to I want to do this in a way way of not. I mean, we're not, we're not look, we're not pointing blame. It, it doesn't matter. I hate playing a blame game. The reality of it is, is that if we're real, Romeo Cornell did an admirable job. If if we're getting down to the nitty gritty, Baltimore ran through them like like mess through a goose, and they had no answers. They yeah. had, they had no answers whatso whatsoever. KC for three quarters. Got outscored fifty-one to seven. They, they, they was it fifty-one or fifty-two? Fifty-one. Fifty-one to seven. KC scored on seven straight drives, and the the defense never had a chance to to even remotely slow them down. And those are two things, Wade, that I think when we when you get into the offseason, the measuring stick or the bar is that of Baltimore, KC. 